This is the electronic doorbell do-it-yourself kit. It runs around $1.50. Let's check it out. The board is high quality and well labeled. It also comes with a speaker and wires to connect it to the board. Three 103 ceramic capacitors, two electrolytic capacitors. One is a 100 microfarad and the other is a 10 microfarad. One button, two 4148 diodes, some pins for attaching the power and the speakers, one NE555 chip, this is the meat and potatoes of the project, and a slew of resistors. Here are all the pieces together. Let's get going. First, I'll connect the NE555 chip right over here. Next, the two electrolytic capacitors, the 100 microfarad over here and the 10 microfarad here. The resistors, three of them go over here and one of them goes here in position R4. The 103 ceramic capacitors go here. The button goes over here. The two diodes go here and here. The pins go here and here. The last step is to connect the speaker wires. And then connect the speaker to the board. Connect the power and here's the finished product. When you push the switch, Now for some thoughts. First, the positives. The board is good quality. It is small, it is cheap, it has a decent amount of soldering. It comes with a speaker and cables, and it works as described. For the negatives, the cables for the speaker are short, so it pulls the board over. It also does not come with its own power supply. Overall though, if you're someone who's new to electronics and trying to learn more about the NE555 chip, I would recommend it. I would rate this a six out of 10.